You're absolutely right. Secretary Pompeo is in the region primarily to discuss Iran. Um, he's, of course, also in the region to give a booster to Netanyahu. We saw his press conference with the Israeli prime minister, you know, showing love to the Israeli prime minister who's very close to the Trump administration. But when we talk about Iran, uh, terror financing is one of those things that the Trump administration has put center stage in their Middle East policy and pushing back against Iran. We've also got him visiting Lebanon and the visit in Lebanon will be quite interesting to watch. When his predecessor Rex Tillerson went, it was not a great visit. This time he's going, there's a new cabinet that Hezbollah takes part in. Uh, many questions whether that push for stopping any finances getting to Iran or its proxies like Hezbollah will include curbing American support for the Lebanese government because Hezbollah is now part of it. It seems that the American assurances are that American aid will continue, especially to the Lebanese military, which is so important, pushing back against Hezbollah and also trying to stabilize Lebanon. Absolutely. And we've seen the Saudi finance ministers a couple of weeks ago. I was asking him, you know, listen, are you going to have Lebanon's back? And he said, we're behind Lebanon all the way. Of course, that's mm -hmm. been something that's not necessarily been a given in mm -hmm. recent years, as we know, um, given that situation with Hariri. But I think it's really interesting as well, not just the, the terror financing angle, but we heard from Hezbollah in a couple of weeks ago saying, you know, we're ready for handouts. We're not getting what we used to get from mm -hmm. Tehran. I mean, this is the sanctions working, isn't it? Mm. I think the other interesting aspect to also point out is how the U.S. is obviously also using energy as a tool of leverage in these conversations, not just against Iran, of mm -hmm. course, but are also against Venezuela. Mm -hmm. Is that something that you expect to continue? Absolutely. I mean, energy has always been one of those tools for geopolitical uh, pressure when needed. Uh, it's interesting also to see what the Americans are saying to the Iraqis. They've given them a waiver for Iran sanctions in order to allow um, Iraq to continue to trade with Iran. But there's also pressure on Iraq not to be an outlet for Iranian oil. Reuters recently had a very important report on oil smuggling that's actually helping the Iranians come through Iraq. So it's not only in terms of pressure points, but in terms of what the Americans are expecting from their allies and the countries in the region to continue that pressure on Tehran. It's fascinating, isn't it, the optics here? Because just a week or so ago, we had Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, we had Rick Perry, the energy sector, mm -hmm. doing an interview exclusively to CNBC from an energy conference seated side by side. Yeah. Now, at no time in the modern history have we ever seen the optics like this from the United States. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can say that our foreign policy is our energy policy and vice versa, mm -hmm. and it has been said and will continue to be said. But in terms of the optics, just laying it out there. I mean, yeah. and this is the Trump administration say, hey, we are one and the same. But that's the interesting thing about the Trump administration. They actually come forward and do things the way American administrations have always done behind the scenes. And they're almost like, this is what you see is what you get. And in some ways, that's why they're popular in parts of this region, because it's like, at least you're clear. We know what you're trying to do. And you're much clearer than others that might try to say absolutely no correlation between our energy policy and our uh, farm policy. You're right. The Trump administration is making it clear. It's incredible. They <laughs> hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.